Yes. YouTube. Yep. That's the way to do that. And I'm pleased to say, Bron, why don't you introduce him? Yeah, uh, Matthew Johns sitting in a car park somewhere. Come in, Matthew. <laughs> hey, hey, boys. I love Mondays. I'm just pumped. Yeah. I love good. it. Start Listen, of the week. I have a ritual on every Monday. There's an amp hole near my place. I just go down there and I sit in the car park and have a, a peri peri and tomato sandwich. And uh, I've, I've had two today because I'm Lee Marvin. <laughs> Ah. It, it, do you, is it, you got to make sure they're fresh, Matthew, when you go into the Caltech yeah. slash Ampole. Right up. I'll give you a tip what you do. When you go to the servos, don't pick the ones at the front, reach to the back. Oh, they're the fresh yeah. ones. Okay. Yeah, you know, they rotate them. Yeah. I worked for Arnott's for a while. <laughs> and I, I, actually, yeah, I worked at Arnott's. So the biscuits used to, you learn how to rotate. All the fresh ones were at the back. But you said before about going into the toilet. Yes. Without yeah. footwear. Yep. Um, well, I tell you, rookie error, Fletch. On our flight back from Las Vegas, at hour 14, when we're half an hour from landing, I walked into the toilet, the toilet um, on our flight with barefoot. And honestly, it was like, uh, yeah, the floor wasn't good. Uh, Mick Ennis was in there just before me. And, uh, mate, it was, it was actually horrible. <laughs> uh, my feet came out just a still stink of urine. Yeah, but... You, uh... The thing with – there's not much room for error on a flight. Yeah. Adding turbulence, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that is – I'm not do, I've never done that. <laughs> no. I've never no. done that. I've, I always get par- I get paranoid when I'm in there that I'm taking too long. You now, if you're having an egg, yeah. you're, just, you're trying to punch it out quick and you're hoping <laughs> it doesn't smell. And, oh, mate, it's, it's a low place, the airline toilet. I'll tell you what I did once. Coming, I was this – is, this is crook. So if you're eating, I hope you're finished. <laughs> I was, we were going, when I was playing over in Wigan, I took the little one, so it was Maya. She was, yeah. no, Scarlet was only two, yeah, so I was flying yeah. over there. And someone had gone into the Brasco, so I had her in my hand about mm. to change the nappy. Yeah. And someone had gone in previous and it hadn't flushed. And, oh. it, and it wasn't solid. Oh, the previous no. person yeah. wasn't solid. I've pressed the button and it hasn't sucked. It shot up. <laughs> It shot up into the roof oh, no. and went all o- went all over the scarlet. I've never told her this. I had I had uh, sewerage oh. all over her. All over, it was horrific. Oh, yuck. So be well, careful, be careful, because it went the opposite there way. A, there's a, a story. Uh, I don't know if it to be exactly true, but let's just say it is. Even if there was a little bit of paprika on top, it's still a to beauty. Uh, is that a well-known person? Uh, certainly a, not a, a not a sporty person. It was just a, a, an Australian um, celebrity of sorts. <laughs> Went on a flight and had a couple of sleepers passed out, and uh, well, did the old Edgar in the pants, oh. and they couldn't they couldn't wake him up, and the other passengers alerted. That's true. Staff. That right? They had to carry him to the toilet. Yep. Can we have any clues? Yeah, well, it's, it wasn't Shane Richardson. I know that. <laughs> it's definitely not Richo. But it, it was someone who, how yeah. do I do this delic- delicately? It's just cryptic. No, okay. Um, reality TV show star in Ho- the early yeah, days. Host or, or host. part of the program? Host. host. Oh, yeah. Host. Yeah. Host. Yeah. Male or female? Can't tell you. That'll give it away. <laughs> oh, yeah. big brother! Hello. That was yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. That, that's true, Matthew. It's not, really. There's no paprika on big that. Brother. Mm. You know. You know what yep. I did on the weekend? I had to go and watch the kids play sport, and and uh, I'm in the Brasco, and, and only that morning <laughs> I said to I said to my wife, so she was in the shower. And she said, "Can you get me a Hang towel?" Hang on, is this a common? Have you got a? Is it the Brasco in the shower? Is it one of those no, ones no, combined? It's a, or you got your own? Y- y- yes, but it's a different story. No, but is the shower and the and the Brasco yes. in the same room? Yeah, yes. Is there anything dividing the no, Brasco? No, no, only it, a foggy oh, sort of uh, oh, shower. The, the no, but it's glass. different. So, so Kobe is in the shower, and because sometimes you use the shower as a toilet. You can do that. Yeah. <laughs> you can. Yeah. You yeah. can. You just kick it down the drain. <laughs> Absolutely. Shout out to you, Richo. <laughs> kick sideline, walk the scrum. Well, <laughs> <laughs> stop. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord Stompovich. <laughs> anyway, um, so Kobe's in the shower the same morning, and she says, can you get me a towel? And I've said, how do you bloody get in the shower without, without knowing there's a towel there? So I go downstairs, get her a towel, drag the towel back upstairs. Were you and, mid Edgar? No, 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 unrelated, totally oh, okay. unrelated, sorry, totally unrelated. <laughs> so, so I give her the friggin' 
Andy McDowell, and and all of a sudden, uh, about three hours later, we're at Kids Sport, and I'm sitting down on the Brasco, and there's nobody in there, and I sit down, and, I, and I'm occupying the toilet to sit down for the reason you sit down, <laughs> yeah. right? Andy McDowell, uh, Stomper, and I need some paper, and then I realise oh. there's none in the in that Brasco. I'm yeah. in. So I've had to do, I've, 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 had, I've had to do the the waddle, yeah, the Travis Waddell, you know, like it's yeah. You've all, you got to you got to pre plan. I oh, know. You got to pre plan. Yeah, it happened to me. Happened to me in Kenny Nagus. I was over there, right? <laughs> hopped, into, hopped, hopped into hopped into uh, the Brasco, and literally uh, look in, and there was uh, no toilet paper. So I've had to do that. You know, the, I've only pulled the pants sort of half up just uh, below the cheek. And I've, when I've gone out there, there's no spare toilets. So I'm, I had to stand out there uh, for about two minutes till uh, another Brasco got spare. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in a week of low moments, it oh. would have been the lowest. Oh, everyone's got one of these stories. Oh, uh, Matthew, let's move on and talk about round one. More importantly, the uh, Canterbury-Bankstown Bulldogs, because we've got a lot of Bulldogs fans. I didn't realise the Bulldogs are quite... Quite a yep. popular club. Yes. Um, Matthew, how long do you think Cameron Serraldo will persevere with Matty Burton at six? Or do you think he's just going to back himself and lock him in? Look, Fletch, mate, I've seen this a million times. Really good running players. Oftentimes, mate, they, they, they sort of get suffocated by what they perceive to be their playmaking responsibilities. You know, like Matty in his mind is going, mate, I've got to steer the side around the park. And you can just see it's eating him up a little bit. Um, it was it was quite similar. Like, remember tw- 2017, Slater come back into the Melbourne side. And Munster had to move to six. Now it looks, for all intents and purposes, at the moment you go well. Munster was always going to make it. Well, Munster was having massive anxiety going into that season. He believed that he was watching the way Cronk played in the halves and thought he had to be the same. And you go, no, no, no. What you do is you take your strengths to the jersey. Don't let the jersey dictate how you play. Now, Matty, at the moment, you can see that, you know, he, he he's thinking in his mind he's got to steer the side and do all this sort of stuff. And what he, and, and what you're not seeing is he's played with his strengths, his running game. If I was Cameron Soraldo, whether I don't know if it, I'd do it permanently, but I reckon in the next next month, I, I'd, I'd throw him into a position which I'd be left cent, centre and I'd move Crichton to the right centre because Crichton, does, he doesn't care if he plays left or right. And, mate, stimulate his running game. Yeah. Like he was, for Penrith and for New South Wales a couple of years ago, he was dynamic in the centre position because it forces him to his strengths. And, you know, like, playma- playmakers, it happens all the time. It happens to the very best of them. Like Nathan Cleary... Uh, even Nathan, at this this time of the year with Nathan and, and the Penrith side, they always wrestle with that they get too pass centric. They want to push the ball sideways, and there's they don't have enough thrust in their game. So it happens to the very very best of it. But that, I can see that happening with Burton at the moment. Luke Brooks has spoken about it before. I've said to Brooks, uh, to, to Brooksy, mate, for everyone new. Yeah, everyone, even you knew that the strength of your game is running the football. What were the things that took you away from that strength? And he said, worrying about everyone else, mm. thinking I had the organi- to organise the side. And suddenly when he let go of that in the middle of last year and you saw it round one, DCE's running the show now. So, mate, he, he's just going to focus on his strengths, run the football. He was the best player in the field uh, against South Sydney. So with Burton, yeah, I, I, would, I, w- I would look to play him... Uh, at left centre, I'd make people say, "Oh, yeah, it's only round one." But I saw the same things last year, or even at a pinch, you know, if you wanted to, was bring him on the field and play him a little bit in thirteen through the middle of the field. But a lot of people at the moment are saying about the dogs, they've got too many utilities. You won't really know how, like, what shape the bulldogs are in, and if you know this, all the utilities like Kurt Mann and Jamin Sam, if it's going to work until they get a bit, about a 50-50 split in possession. Like on the weekend, it was, you know, it was, it was never going to work because they were just under the pump. Field position-wise, possession-wise, they, they didn't have a chance. Matty, um, you're a thousand times smarter than me, and I recognise one, one thing I, I can do is recognise smart people like yourself, um, the late Jack Gibson, where David Leslie came, my dad, and said, mate, you one thing you can do, you can find smart people. And, and what he used to do, Jack Gibson, Thanks. was <laughs> what he used to do was 
was, was he'd just picked the best footy players. So, so in the instance of the Gold Coast Titans, right, for me, like everyone thinks you've got to pick a halfback, you've got to pick a 5'8". What if you just got one half who, who's up for NRL? Why don't you just pick them? And what's wrong with just picking your team is absolutely gunning the forward pack. Just pick seven forwards. The, the first try they scored, the Gold Coast Titans, was it wasn't a set play. They went across the right-hand side. A bit of chaos started to happen. And guess what a try happened? The conceived and the, the, the premeditated stuff didn't work. So what's wrong with just picking, okay, we don't need to run Tanner Boyd Tom Weaver in this. Let's just pick. If we've only got one half, let's pick one half. Let's go seven yeah. forwards and let's just try and win the game. Thoughts? Yeah, that's right. Or you, you know, use your six as a ball runner. You make the decision. Okay, we put AJ Simpson. Uh, AJ. 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that'll get us on the map, Matty. Where do, where, <laughs> that'll put NRL on the map. Oh, where, yeah. where do you boy like sandwiches from? <laughs> Mate, put AJ even at six or yeah. throw him in at 13 rather than the centres. But, yeah, I know what you mean. You're right because, Joel, what happens a lot of times these days, when you put on an attacking sequence, the, the good defensive sides, they, they just see it all coming. Yep. And, and, you know, yourself like, you know, like Fletch, when you be defending in the middle of the, the field, the last thing you want is a bloke to just take, take you on one-on-one, like, you know, a bloke with good footwork, so you're right, Joel. Like you got to have a you got to have a structure. You have it that that is, you can go back to. You got to have principles of how you want to play, but you got to be able to venture away. You got to be able to play unorthodox as well. But you, the other thing too, I, I like. I, I'm thinking when New South Wales used to pick Greg Bird at five eight. Yeah, that's exactly how he he wasn't a ball playing no. five eight. But you've also got to have a halfback who has a personality to take control because you need someone out there. To take control. I remember when yes. Craig Wing first start. Ricky was trying to make him halfback. He'd come from South, yep. and he was um, he played a little bit of fullback, played a little bit of six. Predominantly, he was a hooker coming off the bench, and Ricky was trying to make him seven. And he just had <laughs> it. It was a pretty overbearing team in the sense we had a lot of senior big players, personalities. big personalities, yeah. and we he was the halfback. And we were pushing him out of the way, and I feel and, he, yeah. and that's not his. That wasn't his go. Yeah. So we lost the first six. I think we won one of the first six. But the Titans are pushing two out of the way at the moment. Well, I, I can see. Yeah, but I think at the end of the day, you need a, a seven who's got the personality to say and can have his head on to say, okay, just just hold hold fire here. I need to get to a kick. It took Wingy twelve months of basically whinging yeah. at every video session. <laughs> go, they told me to do that. And Sticky would turn around and go, well, Wingy, you got to stand up for yourself then. <laughs> yeah. Rather than yeah, having a – yep. it, that, And then we started realising, Wingy was saying, no, yep. no, we're not – we're going for a kick. Yep. Go up for a kick because we were put, trying to put all these moves on. <laughs> and the, the problem with being a halfback, the coaches, you were, they kept coming to you. And I felt yeah. sorry for him. Because yeah. it was us over yep. over yeah. playing our hand and like overruling him, over calling him, <laughs> and it always comes yeah. back to the seven. It, you know, Fletch, like it's a it's a it's a fine it's a it's a funny balance because you need your you need your halves to be smart, particularly the halfback. You, you know, he's got to be smart and steer the side around the park, but he can't be too sensitive. No, if he's too <laughs> sensitive, then you know it's going to eat him up, and people, you know, bloke, blokes like yourself and the experienced forwards are just going to go get out of get out of my way. Uh, and, and it's a, I, like, it was an interesting thing when Andrew and I come into first grade. The Knights had like Chief Mark Sargent, Tony Butterfield, really old, tough, experienced pack. And before we got on there, like the the rules that the Knights used to be. Um, before you got into first grade, when we first got in there, you weren't allowed to pass the ball, believe it or not, in your own half. Like, the hooker pass the ball, but no one else. Don't do it. High completions. Mm. Mate, all these certain rules. And so you sort of get there, and there's an opportunity. You've got a four and three up a short side, but you're over the bat, the other side in your own half, and they're going, mate, don't call the ball. But eventually, you know, you just, you've just got to learn to call it and apologise later on. But you know, it's it, there's a responsibility that comes with the uh, the jersey, and you just you've just got to keep reminding yourself. Mm. You know, don't worry about it. Just just tell them what to do. What about and, your knights? Yeah, because it's very very hard because they keep going, mate. Tell us what to do. Just, yeah, but then get it, but then get out of my way. Hey, Matty, oh, no. Matty what what about your? Not being married, Matthew. <laughs> it's it's a conundrum because you've got 
Fernie's Crossland, who match wanted for New Zealand. You've got Braley there, who's in the wings. You've got Campbell, who was so good for O'Brien at the back end of the year. Hastings there as well, and Cogger. I just don't think the four of them work in the same team. And, and they'll, 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 it's a poor imitation. They're trying to do what Isaiah Yeos does, right? But everything for the Knights was pre-line, pre-line. And the Raiders, yeah. who, who didn't give a stuff about any of that, they aren't as talented as the Knights. And I'm convinced by that. But they just wanted to bash the door down, get to the kick, and they weren't worried about highlights reels for yeah. round 27 last well, year. What do you think? Joel, Joel the, the Raiders don't have an identity crisis. They know exactly what they yep. need to do to win. They were very decisive in how they played. Knights went into a game probably – see, my, I was really – I said this last week, I was really nervous about the Knights. Yep, you're right. Because of the fact the whole preseason, mate, the, the town was on a high saying, mate, next year we're top four, we're going to do all this stuff. And that can so easily bleed into the, play, the, the playing group. And it's very hard to let go of the season before. And that was, as we said, that was actually, that game was exactly in Ricky's sweet spot. You know, you're right. It's it's a funny roster. There's a lot of playmakers in it. Like what really confused me the other night, fellas, was that Knights were playing two sideways. They'll push on the ball to the edges. There were players instead of blokes. I think once Frizzell hit a really hard line, went through and scored, but everyone was running parallel lines. And you're thinking, come on, boys, you've got to straighten it up. Now, if you go back to the, the grand final that Penrith won, Penrith, Penrith were doing the same thing. And suddenly, Ivan went to the, brand, uh, the bench and brought Jack Cogger on, and he changed everything. He straightened the attack. So I'm thinking, boys, get Cogger on. He, that's yeah. why you've got him. You know? He's, I don't know why he started on the bench anyway. Well, bugger me, they put him on and they throw him in, in the hookup. It just it didn't make sense for me. And, and I think Phoenix Cross ended up playing – Huge minutes in the middle, made something like fifty-three tackles. Now playing in the middle, that's you know, that's that's you know as far as you know being a loose forward, that's that's pretty foreign to yep. uh, Phoenix. Well, I'm thinking AOB <laughs> needs a bit of BCS in his life. Is that right, Bradley Charles Stubbs? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, he's been working. Oh, yes. He's working with everyone else. We, I don't know yeah. if you heard Matthew. We had him on the show last week. We had Bradley Charles on. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't do many interviews, but no. he's been on our show twice. So that's telling you something. Yep. I'm wow. thinking if you get in contact with AOB, yep. he needs a bit yep. of BCS Correct. in his life. Who's yeah. the uh, – so the um, I heard he was talking to you boys. He's overseas at the moment. Yeah, he's, his young bloke is – He works um, exclusively with the NRL. No. No, he's, he's over there trying to get an NFL team, and we were discussing it, and apparently – Something's in the works. He wouldn't really let on. There's a, there's a big what coach, not, as... not in rugby league. No. It, it may be a round NFL ball, something. not necessarily basketball. Could be football. I don't know. Oh, so one of those big soccer clubs. I think well, so. Well, I'm thinking it could have been this gentleman. Ange Pozzacoslu. No, I don't think it was Pozzacoslu. <laughs> uh, it was, definitely wasn't Pozzacoslu. I'm thinking oh, you it think could be some... a competitor. No, I don't know. I, it wouldn't be a Premier League player. It might be like in the championship or even further Mate, he down. said it's big. Well, the, soccer's wow. huge over here. Yeah. It doesn't have to be the Premier League. Oh, massive. Massive. Anyway, yeah, so... Yeah. Um, Danny from yeah. Dungog is texting through. Night. Danny from Dungog is suggesting it is absolutely an EPL team. Oh. Yeah. Well, who's struggling for who's struggling for for some uh, well, inspiration? Would it be Brentford? Well, there's, there's, yeah, there's quite a, there's quite a few, uh, <laughs> I think, staff Aussies over there in different places. I mean, you've got Ange mm. there. But, you know, I think there's quite a few Aussies in Man U. Strength in I'll be there. Man U. Yeah. Man U, yeah. yeah. Could be. Uh, Matthew, that's, that's the music. Big. We're going to have to wrap you up so you can <laughs> oh, finish your peri peri chicken and your. Yeah. I, I bet you got a dare chocolate milk too with you. To wash no, it down. no. I, I actually, I've got an oak. Oh. I knew it. I knew you got an oak. Okay. okay. Anyway. Listen, boys, loved it today. That was good. Yeah, yeah, well done. Get back in. Get out of that car park. Well played, Matthew. Nice put to the put brick the back. Put on. the brick back. You know how they have the key stuck to a brick when you yeah. want to use the Brasco? Yeah, 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 <laughs> Why yeah. are you going to steal yeah, a Brasco yeah, key? Seriously. Yeah, 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 and just look the, the, the Brasco's at, at service stations makes the Brasco's uh, in the Kick his ass, Seabass. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Matthew.